God to use it in your life, in your situations, Lord. We will be loving you, Lord, as we surrender to you today, Lord, as we bow down and worship you in the name of Jesus. As we surrender to you, Lord, we will be loving you, Lord, as I lay down everything to you, God. As I give you praise, Lord, I worship you. As we give you praise, Lord, and as we worship you, Lord, as we exalt your name, God, we thank you, God, for each and everything that you've done for us, God, for the grace and the mercy that you continue to give us, Lord, for the things that you continue to do for us, God. Name. We glorify your name. This morning, we lift our voices up unto you. We praise your name. We invite your presence. Let your power reign amongst us. Let your glory continue to shower us. Father, we pray in each and every situation of our lives, we need you. You are our Lord. You are our provider. You are our guide. Father, we pray for your presence, for your power, for your glory to continue to abide by you. In this service again this morning, we uplift your name. We exalt your name. We magnify your name. Let your presence continue to rule in each and every aspect of our lives. Father, we pray, let your will be done in our families, in our lives, in whatever we do. We pray for your inspiration. We pray for your revelation. We pray for your guidance. We pray that you continue to reign in our midst. We pray that you continue to be our, our Lord. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, glory, 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 glory be unto you. We thank you, Father, for this morning. We thank you, Father, for this service. We thank you, Father, for the gift of life. And bring us, our Father, again into your presence to worship you and to glorify your name. In Jesus' name, Father, we pray. Amen. We may all be seated. I greet you all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We greet you all again today uh, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ thanking the Lord for the gift of life and also thanking the Lord for us, for him that has allowed us to come and to worship him. Uh, may I have on the screen Jeremiah 3, 33 verse 3 and 1 Corinthians chapter number 2 verse 9 to 12. Today we are speaking about revelation. Uh, that is a derived word from reveal to meaning to say there are hidden things that needs to be revealed. Go unto me, I'll answer you, and tell you great and wondrous things you do not know. Can I come again? Okay, let's go to First Corinthians chapter number 2, verse 9 to 12. But as it is written, what no eye has seen, and no ear has heard, and what has never come into a man's heart is what God has prepared to, for those who love him. Now God has revealed them to us by the Spirit, for the Spirit searches everything, even the deep things of God. For who among men knows the consent of a man except the Spirit uh, that except the spirit of the man that is in him. In the same way, no one knows the consents of God except the spirit of God. Now, we have not received the spirit of the world, but the spirit whom is from God in order to know what has been freely given to us by God. May the good Lord bless the reading of the word. Uh, today we are talking about revelation, meaning to say revelation is something that does not come from men. The spirit of the Lord is the cornerstone of revelation, meaning to say whenever something hidden unto men, in each and every generation, there's something new that the Lord needs to reveal. Meaning to say each and every generation, each and every life would 
there is something hidden from a common eye. There is something hidden from the understanding of men that the Lord reveals to those that loves him. Meaning to say, revelation is a condition that comes with the love of God. The more you love God, the more secret and hidden things are revealed to us. The Bible says, even a man himself does not know what he wants, but the Spirit searches what a man wants. Meaning to say, our common mind with normal education and rules and stipulations of this world, you may not know what you want. The Spirit searches man, meaning to say in your heart, there is capacity for the Spirit to read your heart. The Bible says, before you even requested, I know what you want. Jeremiah once wrote to the people in captivity in Babylon and said, I, for I know the good plans that I have for you. Meaning to say the Spirit has already searched the people in Babylon and started to understand what they want before they even knew about it. At one point when Peter was talking to Jesus and Jesus asked who I am and the disciples were talking and answering, mentioning all things, the Peter answered and said, you are the Holy One, the Son of the Most High God. And Jesus immediately answered, blood and flesh did not reveal this unto you, but my Father in heaven has given you the Spirit. Because of that revelation that is coming from the Father, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven meaning to say the Lord is capacity to reveal unto us things that are good to us when we do not know it meaning to say our own understanding our own reasoning our own conceptions unless they are searched by this by the spirit we may be going astray the desires of us alone without the spirit searching us may lead us astray. Meaning to say, the Bible says, now we have not received the spirit of the world, but the spirit of whom, of who he is from God, in order to know what has been freely given to us. It's freely given to you, but it needs the Holy Spirit to interpret it to you. So many people run out. Bible says in James, is anyone among who, you who lacks wisdom? Let him ask from the Lord who give it deliberately or freely. Meaning to say the spirit of understanding is not through reading or conception, but is through the power of the Holy Spirit. When God, Jesus, was leaving the earth, he says, I will not leave you alone. I will leave you with a helper. Meaning to say the Holy Spirit, when he comes and sits upon a man, it is he has power to interpret things that a common mind or a normal mind will not be able to interpret. So revelation, the word to reveal, it means they are hidden. There are so many things hidden to us. Generation by generation, each and every individual, there are things that are hidden to you. The day they get revealed to you, you wonder, how did I not know this? How did I not understand this? Because it's something hidden from common understanding. Remember, the Bible says, the rest is not for the swift neither money for the wise. Meaning to say, no matter how quick you are with your own body, minus the Holy Spirit, certain things, they still remain hidden unto you. The power of success and the power of life lies in the secret of you. How many revelations have been given to you? How many things have been revealed to you? I was preaching on one platform and said what we are, it's an outcome of the environment 
that we have only created with our own hands and with our own mind. The more you quest for the Lord and the more you desire to hear from the Lord, the more secret things that are revealed to you, the better your life becomes. You see, certain very simple things like communication, certain very simple things like politeness, if they are not revealed to you, you remain with the spirit of heaviness. You remain with the spirit of arguing. You remain with the spirit of bitterness. You need revelation to be revealed. Certain things, peace does not come naturally. It needs revelation. Understand does, understanding does not come naturally. It needs revelation. Reasoning does not come naturally. It needs revelation. The Lord says, I have come to reveal. In Jeremiah says, I will reveal to you. Call upon unto me and I will reveal to you. Meaning to say, somebody you need to call for understanding. You hear Solomon after being ordained as a king, when he was visited by the Lord, an angel, he was asked to mention what he want. But he said to, he, to him, he said to the angel, Give unto me wisdom, wisdom to rule your people. He was already ruling. He was already a king. He had already built the temple. But he still needed revelation to understand how to lead. The Bible says, even if the builder builds a house, Without God, he's building in vain. Meaning to say, revelation is the cornerstone of success. Anything that cometh out of the Lord is powerful. It cannot be stopped. It cannot be killed. It cannot be detained. We need to say, anyone with the power of revelation, they are not stoppable. You cannot stop a person with revelation. Why? The spirit of the Lord is upon that person. When the spirit spirit of the Lord is upon you. You understand things that many people do not understand. You see what people do not see. You, your mind conceive and understand what many has never done before. The Bible says, what, no, what has not got into a man's heart, nor heard by the ear, nor seen by the eye, that I shall reveal to those that loves me. Meaning to say, new things are only bound to those that loves the Lord. Loving the Lord is the foundation of understanding the mystery of the heaven and mystery of this life. The life we live, it's not in vain nor in plain, but it's the life that needs understanding and revelation from one face to another, from one level to another. You need secret things to be revealed in every stage of your life, be it Sunday school, be it youth, be it teenagerhood, be it adulthood, be it marriage. For you to fully explore it and for you to fully enjoy it, there is need for revelation. Revelation. May the good Lord give you revelation. Things that are hidden from a common eye and things that are hidden from a common ear and things that are hidden from a common mind. May the Lord reveal unto you and separate you from ordinary to live an extraordinary life. A life that many cannot understand nor stop. When revelation comes upon you, your enemies will not be able to stand in your way. When revelation comes upon you. No human plan will stand before you. Why? You are living a life that is full of revelation, that is full of the Spirit of the Lord. No man can stop you. All the mighty men of God that have lived before us, full of revelation and understanding of the, of the word of God, the world could not withstand them. Neither enemies could they stand before them. Why? Revelation separates you from ordinary and it makes you a superman. Why? Because the spirit of the Lord is upon you. When God reveals to you hidden things from common men, I always say to people, understanding is not equated to age. So many people have said, as you start to grow gray hair, understanding starts to increase and wisdom starts to increase. But those who call upon the Lord, they are revealed 
things are revealed to them irregardless of age, irregardless of status. Why? The Lord has a habit of revealing hidden things to make our lives better. You see, the day you start to receive visions and to start to understand the word revelation, many people will be struggling, but the Lord has a tendency of revealing hidden things. There is certain understanding that comes with revelation. There is a certain favor that comes with revelation. Where others are stopping, you know, there's, God had revealed himself to Meshach, Daniel, and Abednego. In the land of captivity, when every Israelite disappeared and their image and what they stand for disappeared, Meshach, Daniel, and Abednego, they had the power to tell the king, we shall not eat defiled food. In that, the king tried to impose physical power. But physical power was fighting revelation. And always revelation prevails against any other planned thing against you. Daniel, Meshach, and Abednego prevailed. Even the king started to recognize them. One thing that I've seen, there's no any anointing that can be put into captivity. There's no any blessed man that can be abused. Abusers have a tendency of reason, of seeing anointing. Why? When you are, when secret things are revealed to you, you become unstoppable. You can't compromise, neither can you be compromised. Why? There is, is revelation upon your life. Brethren, sisters, and brothers, you need a certain level of grace that hidden things are revealed to you. The world is looking for such men and women that have super understanding that does not come natural, but that comes with a unique power, which is the Holy Spirit. When the Lord when the spirit is of the Lord is upon you and you call the name of the Lord sincerely, things that are hidden from a common mind, things that are hidden from a common ear, and things that are hidden from common understanding, they start to be revealed to you. Revelation separates you from ordinary people. Revelation separates you from common things. So, so many things that affect the majority. When secret things are revealed to you, you see things that many people do not see. Staying in the same room, staying in the same country, staying in the same economy, staying in the same neighborhood, but you see things differently and you live a life differently. I was when every Israelite was running away from the loud voice of Goliath, there is no instance that we had that the, the Philistines had an encounter with, the, with the Israelites. Goliath was just shouting, is there a man out of Israel? Is there a man? Each and every day, King Saul and his armies, were hiding in caves, eating, sleeping in caves, hearing the intimidation of Goliath. They, they knew very well the God of their fathers, who had shown them the Red Sea, who had shown them great things from Egypt, but they were not able to see that this Philistine, the uncircumcised man, can be brought down. When David came from where he was shepherding the sheep, being deemed unfit to go to the war because of age, secret things were revealed to him that he is coming to me with words, but I am coming to you with the Lord of Israel that you have done miracles before. It's not only David who knew it. Every Israelite had the information, but it was not revealed to them. Same information, same understanding, different reason, different re revelation. What you all know and what is all at your disposal, with revelation, they may mean different things to you. Every Israelite wanted the glory. 
and to be the next king. But it was revealed to David, and he became the next king. And he brought down Goliath. So many challenges that are ahead of you. You have the information, you have the capacity, but what you only do not have is the revelation. When revelation has come upon you, you are able to deal with that situation without changing settings. In same settings, different revelation. I always say to these people, and I always say to myself, when there's an obstacle up ahead of me, and when I'm going through something, there is need for that soft-spoken voice that says to you, let's do it again. We have done it before. Let's do it again. We have, the Lord has done it before. Let him do it again. Sometimes you need revelation to do things that many people are not doing, to see things that many people are not seeing, to hear things that many people are not hearing. Many people have told me before, and they tell me every day, we cannot do it anymore. The economy is harsh. But one day I drove to this car dealership. I asked for a car, and they told me, this is not on the shelf. You order it, you pay for it, you wait for six months. Then I said, why six months? There is a backlog. People are buying. But there is someone closing the door, and they are saying bread is expensive. Whilst people are queuing for big things, someone is winching about bread. He is neither a politician nor an economist. They don't change anything. What they are able is to cry and repeat over and over and over. Things are hard. Their eyes don't see anything positive. They only see negative things. For starting from today, Ask the Spirit of the Lord to reveal to you good things so that you come out of negativity. You come out of the Spirit that says we cannot do it. Don't give the next generation the impression that the Lord is, is silent is, and is not revealing things unto men. The Lord is still doing wonders. He will continue to do wonders and He will continue to reveal secret, nice things unto him, those that call upon him. Brethren, let's call upon the name, the Lord, of, with sincerity, with our hearts, so that the Spirit of the Lord may reveal to us hidden things, secret things, and in our minds in, and in our hearts, we may continue to be blessed with good things. I want, that, I want you to stand up, start to ask for the spirit of revelation. Sincerely go before the Lord and say, Lord, bless me with the spirit of revelation. You have done it to Peter. You have done it to David. You have done it to the widow of Zarephath to know that Elijah was not a common man. Let's go before the Lord and say, Lord, in our generation, during our lifetime, Reveal unto us secret things. Let our eyes see you and our ears hear from you and our hearts conceive things that comes from the throne of grace that we may be separated from ordinary people and separated from non-believers that the spirit of your power may continue to dwell and to do us good. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Reveal unto us hidden things, secret powerful things that transforms our lives, that gives us lives, that gives us the capacity to continue to live a life that is not ordinary. May your power, may your spirit continue to influence our decisions. Let our eyes see new things. Let our ears hear from you. Father, I pray that you reveal unto us great and mighty things, things that transforms this world, things that changes our lives, things that gives direction to the next generation, things that gives continuity to the preaching of the word and the power of the word. Father, I pray for your revelation. Do not hide.
hide your glory from us. May they hide your power from us. I pray that we may be equipped with your power, equipped with your ear, with eyes that can see, ears that can hear, the hearts that can receive hidden things, secret things, things of this are not understood by ordinary men. Father, I pray, let the spirit of the Lord continue to rule, to dominate, to take control over us in each and every generation. Father, you reveal things that serve unto those that call upon you. We are calling upon you this morning. Reveal unto us, show us, O oh Lord, separate us from the rest, separate us from ordinary people, separate us, Father, through your spirit as we kneel down, as we worship you, as we call upon your name, I pray that you come to equip us. I pray that we see things that helps our generation, things that transforms our generation and preserve our faith, our understanding, and our trust in you. Father, I worship you. I thank you this morning. I glorify your name. We lift your name on high. Let your will be done. Let your glory continue to shine in our midst. In Jesus' name, Father, we pray. Amen.